Tonight, two examples of cops seemingly crossing the line, going way over it, caught on tape. First, an Ohio woman strip, strip, strip searched by seven police officers after she called for help after an altercation with a family member. This is Hope Steffi screaming as she's stripped completely naked and locked in a jail cell for six hours. Relax. Out, out okay, just relax. Uh, what are you doing? Stop it! You're going up the cautious. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! What the? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. The sheriff is saying that it was. That, they, that they, the deputies performed their tasks in a professional manner? Then there's this. A deputy dumping a Florida man paralyzed from the neck down out of his wheelchair and searching him while he's lying on the ground. Brian Sterner was being booked for fleeing law enforcement after a traffic violation and says he was ordered to stand up. I said I can't stand up. I'm quadriplegic. I did a face plant pretty, pretty hard uh, on my right side. Joining me now, Defense Attorney Michelle Suskauer and the former prosecutor Monica Lindstrom. All right, Michelle, let's talk about the strip search first. Um, you, you're actually going to tell me that there's a potential argument that the police, male and female together, were acting, as the sheriff there says, in a professional manner that is consistent with the requirements of the law? Well, you know, Dan, I don't have their internal files in terms of what they have you to need do them? with strip searches. Well, you need them? Sure. You, tell, we, can, tell, we can go over them. Tell, tell, tell but, me, but, tell but, me but, what you need to know. Let's put up the video as we talk well, about this. I want to know what you need to know about this strip well, search well, to know whether it was done professionally. Well, you know what? Dan, you know what, what's amazing is we have it on tape. We don't see police officers <clears throat> losing their temper. We see them being very methodical. We see a woman who is completely out of control, and we're looking at a snapshot of an entire there are encounter guys there. that probably lasted a few... I understand that, and, and that's one thing I'm telling you that I, I don't agree with, unless they only had... And remember, we have two women who are on that video. Oh, thank goodness. And unless they didn't yeah. have any other females who were there and who were present. But, Dan, what we're looking at here is we're looking at a snapshot of an entire encounter okay so yeah. and, and so you know we, right now we're playing Monday morning quarterback oh, we with sure this are. incident yeah M well, look but Monica look she, she's the one who calls the police she, she's the one who needs the help when they call for, yep. for the police you know Dan this is absolutely <clears throat> inexcusable Take the uniforms off the officers, put them in plain clothes, and you have gang assault, almost gang sexual assault. Her clothes are being taken off of her for no reason I see in the video. Well, she's wait a second, wait a second. Control. What about no she's reason? She's just screaming because she's being, okay, her wait clothes a second, are being wait. taken off. Give me a break. Stop There's for a no second. It's not, it's There's not. There's no it's... reason, and it should not have been done, right, and they Michelle, clearly <coughs> overstepped okay, the line. Okay, <coughs> Dan, yeah. Dan, Monica, listen. Listen, what did she say? What What precipitated this? Who it cares? was a, It was a question to her. Who cares? And the question was, do you have any... What, what do you mean, who cares? There are it guys is directly there. relevant. I'm sorry. And what the question is... Wait there. a second. What the question is, is do you have any weapons or sharp objects, and have you so tried to hurt her yourself underwear in the past? And her bra. Excuse me. The answer, the answer that she gave, in, which was the wrong answer, instead of no, no weapons, was now or at any other time. Oh, Boom. Harsh. Can this woman hurt them? No. Dan, you know no. what? God forbid she hurt herself or hurt someone else. They don't know she's mentally ill. They don't know what they're dealing with. And police Tearing officers off her are underwear making a snapshot. And her bra. Wait a second. The men hey, are taking former, off the bra. You're a former prosecutor. You're a former prosecutor. Yeah. You know that police know officers when they have to the make. I and they clearly they have to make the line. A, Look, they have no. to make a split second decision, okay? And so it's very no. easy for us to judge. She was handcuffed. No need for a split decision right. there. No real, real quick, Michelle, you're not even going to defend the, the, the cops who dumped the, uh, the, the paraplegic on the, on the floor, are you? That, that one, Dan, that one. I, think I usually, you... I usually can defend. I usually can defend anybody that is. It's pretty indefensible. Yeah, okay. I can only make. I can yeah. only make bad jokes. And the difference in that no. case also is that the authorities there took action against the person who did that, as opposed to in the other case where they're still mm -hmm. claiming that they dealt with it in a professional manner. All right.